First of all, thank you so much guys, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. And if you are currently watching this video and you haven't subscribed, just a humble request from me to you. Please kindly support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this platform or this video to reach out to others so that we can grow together. Also, I just want to take this opportunity to thank to officially thank those who have already subscribed, my loyal supporters, my loyal viewers who are watching this. Thank you so much, guys, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't take that support for granted. Now, Happy New Year to you in advance uh, as we head to the official end of the year 2022 tomorrow. I wish you all the best as we begin a new year, a year of resolutions, and let it be the best year for you. Now, let us go straight into our critical analysis for today. Now, the Azimio Laumoja Alliance leader, Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, is set to officially launch a joint 2027 presidential bid together with the WIPA leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, uh, Martha Karua, Gideon Moy, and also the former Kakamega County Governor, Wycliffe Oparanya, early next year, 2023. So, of course, I know most of you guys will try and ask what is a joint presidential bid because even me, I've never heard about it before. And that is why I got interested to know more about this issue. And the question here is, will it work out this time round for the for El Odinga and the entire Azimio? But according to the organizers and very close allies of Raila Odinga concerning this issue, they have said that this is whereby the Azimio Lomoja Alliance will issue out an official certificate to all the political leaders in Azimio Lomoja who have showed interest to run for the presidency in 2027, just to assure them that they are official presidential candidates in 20, for the 2027 presidential bid under the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. Now, this is a situation whereby uh, they are trying to tell us that Raila Odinga will know that he is official, an official presidential candidate. Kalonzo Musioka also the same. Gideon Moe and Wycliffe Oparanya, they will all know that they are presidential candidates <laughs> in 2027. Now, I came to ask myself after seeing this issue, what is the game plan, the political game plan of Raila Odinga? Because I believe, I personally believe that this was his idea. What is he up to? What is he up to? Because majority of people believed that this time round in the year 2022 general election, if Raila Odinga will not clinch to the presidency, he will officially, you know, uh, exit from politics of the Republic of Kenya and retire together with the retired president Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. But it seems that Raila Odinga is not yet set to retire. And I remember when he did uh, the recent exclusive interview together with Citizen recently, Raila Odinga was asked if what he's planning, because he's talked about his future plan, his political future plan, and he was asked if all what he's planning is all about the 2027 presidential bid. But he said that he's not doing this for himself. But it is all about the 2027 presidential uh, bid. But it did not rule out the possibility of him being on the ballot in 2027. And I remember also Raila Odinga asking his Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters in the Luo Nyanza region in Kisumu County, asking them if he should retire. And he concluded that he's so strong and he cannot retire politically. And the question here is, why is Raila Odinga doing all this? According to my personal view and according to my personal consideration is this. I think it is a political trap, especially for Kalonzo Musioka. <laughs> and that is why he's coming up with these ideas of, you know, joint presidential bid, something which does not exist. So Raila Odinga knows very well that Kalonzo Musioka is very much determined for the 2027 presidential bid, and he must run for the presidency. So Raila Odinga, what he's trying to do, he does not want that to happen. 
because he is planning also to run for the presidential bid for the sixth time. So what he is trying to do is just trying to play some political cards, lay out some political traps, and before Kalonzo Musyoka realizes, it's already too late for him. You know, because if Raila Odinga uh, leaves Kalonzo Musyoka with a little space, he knows that Kalonzo Musyoka will now prepare himself for the 2027 presidential bid. And immediately 2027 is here, Kalonzo Musyoka will be very much prepared to run for the presidency. But if Raila Odinga tries and, you know, try to come out with things just to waste time for Kalonzo Musyoka, then it will be had a very hard time for Kalonzo Musyoka to run for the presidency in 2027. And that is why Raila Odinga is very much keen on reviving or resurrecting back the BBI, the Building Bridges Initiative. Why is he doing this? It is all about the 2027 presidential bid. And this is now whereby if at all the BBI will resurrect because it's dead already. If his BBI goes through, then he will be able, you know, the BBI was introducing some 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 positions, some political position, like uh, the president's the president, the deputy president, a very powerful uh, prime minister together with two deputies. It will be very much easier for Raila Odinga to convince Kalonzo Musyoka, you know, uh, Raila Odinga to become the president, Kalonzo Musyoka to take over as uh, the prime minister, powerful prime minister, and have his own two deputies, you know, that's a very powerful position. Then he will call somebody like Martha Karua to become his running mate or his uh, deputy president. And uh, uh, Wycliffe Oparanya also who has showed interest in running for the presidency. He can be given a position of, you know, chief uh, cabinet secretary. You know, those are the kinds of plans that Raila Odinga is trying to do. And the point number two, I think Raila Odinga is doing this simply because he wants the Azimio La Umoja Alliance topmost leaders to stay united and try to avoid or to do away with these uh, massive political defections that Azimio La Umoja Alliance has been facing. And Raila Odinga knows very well that if he allows Kalonzo Musyoka to chat on uh, his own political path, uh, Martha Karua to do the same, uh, Gideon Moy the same, and Wycliffe Oparanya the same, it will definitely cost his political career. And I think this time round, Raila Odinga has come to realize that. The same same people who he has allowed to defect from his camp are the same same kind of people who have costed him so much in his presidential dream. Because if you can still remember during the Pentagon, during the, uh, the Pentagon in 2007, the, the, the 2013 Code Coalition, the 2017 NASA coalition and all others. Somebody like Will, uh, William Ruto in 2007, he was with Raila Odinga and he defected. He has come to become the president. At a Sunday, certain point, Uhuru Kenyatta was with Raila Odinga. Was he the deputy prime minister? If I'm not wrong, but he also defected and he became the president. Recently, during uh, this uh, 2022 general election, the people who he was with in NASA coalition, uh, Musalia Mudawadi and uh, and and uh, Weta, Weta the fifth, they defected from his camp and it costed Raila Odinga's presidential bid. So he will not allow to go further this thing to go to happen further in his political career. He will not allow somebody Kalonzo like Kalonzo to defect, somebody like Martha Karua and all other political leaders in Azimio to defect. So that is the second reason. The third reason is that I think Raila Odinga and the entire Azimio has run out of political ideas. I think Raila Odinga has come to realize that William Ruto is too smart because, you know, William Ruto allowed them to, you know, correct him, to try and oppose and to hold in the government uh, to the toes. That is what William Ruto did say it about, about the, the, the work of the opposition. But I think Raila Odinga has come to realize that each and every time he points out something in William Ruto's government, William Ruto will officially take the points because he goes straight and try and correct that thing immediately. So that is a political game plan that William Ruto wanted. So 
I think Raila Odinga wants to come up with a different thing from the opposition side. And he will not try and try and um, correct something from William Ruto's government. That is the third reason. Because if he does so, William Ruto will definitely make the points. And in 2027, uh, William Ruto, with the help of the opposition, he will deliver so much. So I think Raila Odinga wants, if William Ruto's government fails, then at least he will have something to, to tell the people of the Republic of Kenya. In 2027, uh, if he will contest for the presidential bid, or if one of the Azimio Moja Alliance leaders will be contesting, uh, it will be a form or they will find something to sell in their political rallies. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much to add on. Thank you so much for watching my videos, but please don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, my name is Jason and thank you.